Boy, that graphic's been coming in handy because I think I know with this latest news why they call it a healthcare exchange. You exchange the cheaper policy you have for a much more expensive one. The government says that you should have. They're already discovering that the hard way in some rural areas in Maine, where residents who buy a plan under the new federal insurance exchange could end up paying a thousand bucks more in premiums than residents in urban areas, let's say like Portland. Apparently, it costs more to provide insurance for folks who live in rural areas. Who knew? Don't ask. But, Mr. President, do tell. What else are you planning on surprising us with in the weeks and months ahead? Katie Pavlich, almost too afraid to ask. Katie, what do you think? <laughs> well, I think that we can go back to what Obamacare actually is. And the technical term for Obamacare is the Affordable Care Act. And we've gone way beyond that title for this bill being completely dishonest and not panning out. Second of all, we're seeing different rates for different areas of the country because we have this one size fits all federal policy and these exchanges that are requiring people to buy things that they don't need. And therefore, people's insurance rates are going up. They're paying not $100 more, $1,000 more a year. And this is something we all warned about. We talked about how this would happen. Democrats, even in California, have been warning about the, the exchanges not being ready. They're, they're warning about these, these rate shocks. And the problem is that once these rate shocks go into effect, people are going to start, especially young people in particular, are going to start paying the fines for not having insurance rather than getting into these exchanges Well, it's, it's in the cheaper first for them to do so. My next guest is going to be all over that, Andy Puzder. But before we get in, I want to explore one other issue that uh, Georgia's uh, uh, health commissioner brought up with me on, on Fox News, and that is there. They're looking at 100, 200 percent increase in premiums. And contrary to this idea that once the exchanges take hold and young people come in, premiums then reverse and go down, he says, no, mathematically, it simply cannot work that way. What goes up stays up. They rarely, do ever, right. rarely, if ever, do premiums end up, end up going down. In other words, when we attain a high level, it stays there. It's not going to go down. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what we ha we see happen when the government, especially the federal government, gets involved in price fixing. We've seen this th with tuition rates in our education system. Now we're seeing with health insurance. And yes, what goes up doesn't always come down when it comes to uh, health insurance rates. And the problem is, once again, despite the Obama administration's efforts to advertise to young people at concerts, on the beach, and the coffee cups, they're just not signing up for this because they can't afford it. And by increasing the premiums on everyone, in particular young people, they still can't afford it, and then they're paying a fine, that, which means they don't have money to save to eventually get that health care that they're trying to sell them. Well, the bottom line is they're not interested one way or the other, but Katie, exactly. thank you very much. And on that